You are listening to Sacred Hearts of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's Meditation for the Heart title is White Nationalism a Christian Virtue. You might be familiar with the term white nationalist or white nationalism. It is a term that is often associated with Christianity by many. But is white nationalist or white nationalism in keeping with Christian teachings? Is white nationalism A Christian virtue? Well, let's see if this ideology meets the standards of Christianity. One of the most important things that white nationalists believe is the concept of having a white nation. The purpose of the white nation is to ensure the survivability of white people or the white race. Additionally, in order to protect the white race, they believe that they have to preserve the cultures of historically white states or nations. Many proponents of white nationalism believe that they should keep their majority in predominantly white countries. They also believe in having political and economic dominance and that their culture should be the ruling most important culture. To achieve a white nation or state, White nationalists promote anti-immigration policies and they believe that multiculturalism puts them in danger of extinction. So they fiercely reject all things different. Now, because some white nationalists mistakenly believe that Christianity is simply cultural and that Christianity was originated by whites, they often present the argument that their nation is a Christian nation. Not only that, this gives them cover. It allows them to claim that they are simply trying to protect Christianity from external evil forces. And in doing so, they feel justified. For that reason, they have appropriated the title of Christian. But is there any truth to their claim? Well, I think we should tackle the issue of the origins of Christianity first. The Christian faith began as a Jewish sect in the Eastern Mediterranean. The founder and the reason of the Christian faith, Jesus Christ, was a Galilean Jew. So does this make him a white man? Let me put it to you in this way. If Jesus Christ was taking a flight today, he would be undergoing some additional screening from 
TSA. I will point out, however, that the race of Jesus is not what we should focus on, but instead we should consider that he died on the cross so that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Now, whoever is not an exclusive term, but rather it encompasses a broad range of people. The only requirement or qualifier is believing in him. So, that is what Christianity is all about. It's about Christ, the Galilean Jew who died on the cross and was raised from the dead. Christianity is about the love of God for all people. Christianity is not a custom that can be inherited by simply passing it on from generation to generation, as if it was a blanket passed on from newborn to newborn in a family. Christianity is a living faith. It grows. It experiences changes. And it's not focused on rejecting and excluding people. Instead, it focuses on inviting all humans, without exception, to become part of Christ's church. Christianity is for the entire human race. Neither is Christianity about refusing to help people in need, but it is about helping all in need. Christianity is not about injustice. It is not about one group dominating another, and it is not about one race being better than the other. Because as the Apostle Peter said, God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears Him and does what is right is acceptable to Him. So then, how can anyone say, Christianity is the property of the white people and we must preserve it by excluding non-white people from becoming part of it. Do you not hear that Jesus said, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature? When he said this, he did not specify that it be preached only to whites or only to blacks or only to a specific race. He specifically said, every creature. So then, does not God want all people to receive him? And if he wants all people to receive him, does it not follow that Christ wants all people to be saved? Is he not extending the same mercy to others as he extended his mercy to you? Again, how can we refuse to give mercy to those whom God extended 
His mercy too. How can anyone say, look, they look different. So let's keep them away. Let us preserve our nation pure, free from those who are different. It is obvious that white nationalism and nationalism of any kind is in opposition to Christianity. It is morally corrupt and therefore it is not a virtue. It rejects God's desire that all people are welcome into the kingdom of God. And it is therefore fiercely opposed to the will of the Father. White nationalism denies mercy and compassion to others just because they look or appear to be different. And God is mercy and compassion. Everything about white nationalism is in opposition to Christ. So therefore, we can without a doubt say that white nationalism is not, is not a Christian virtue. So if you want to follow Christ, if you want to be called a Christian, you cannot be a white nationalist and you cannot be a nationalist of any kind. So if you are part of the white, white nationalist movement or any nationalist movement out there, repent. Repent for the kingdom of of heaven is at hand. This concludes today's meditation titled Is White Nationalism a Christian Virtue? I hope that this message was edifying to you. I hope that this message has helped you come closer to Jesus and to his desire to love all people regardless of how they look, regardless of where they're from, that this message has helped you be more open to those who are different. If you will take a second of your time and share this message with as many people as you can. Our nation here in the United States of America desperately needs this message. Share it with all your social network contacts on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, MySpace, Google+. Plus. Whatever social network you are in, it only takes one second of your time to click on that share button and share this with thousands of people. And there are many people out there who are unfortunately under the concept that as a Christian we have the affordability of rejecting other people because they look different because they don't meet our pedigree and that is a grave grave dangerous thing for them to be doing and Christ wants all people to be saved and that's why this message I put this message out because I love all people and I will hate for to see anyone anyone be lost. Also, you can come to our website at sacredheartjesus.org. That is